Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHUT.com and I'm their first impressions gameplay video here for Remnant Knights, a 3D anime inspired fantasy MMORPG published by Game Samba. Now I'll spend about 10-15 minutes running around checking this game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play Remnant Knights or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on the link below. So let's go ahead and get started right now guys. I actually did a video for Remnant Knights in the past, so on this video I'm going to start at like level 2 which is where my character is at right now. And the reason I'm doing another video for Remnant Knights is because the last time I did my video the game was in closed beta. But the game is now in open beta, and it launched into open beta sometime in August, early August 2011. So let's go click on the Daydream server over here. And since since closed beta, the game has uh, changed quite a bit, and it's been a while since closed beta, so I figure I might as well do my video right now. My character is called Malevolence, and I got my pro blue hair over there. And you can see the character creation screen in case you forgot over here. We have three playable classes, and they each have their own uh, specializations. We got, uh, you basically have a uh, heavy gunner, dual gunner, and elementalist, priest, and you have Striker and Crasher. Those are the six playable classes in the game. My character is a Gun Circle as a Heavy Launcher. But this actually, I actually like the game's character creation screen because you have this little color wheel of what you want your hair to look like. And there's a good variety with the hair options too. And the graphics in the game are really well done too. It is by Min Communications, the game's developer. It is a Korean company. The game has two schools, the Owl School and the... I can't go into another school, it's called the Dragon School. Because I already have a character in the Owl School. And let's go click my level over here and log in. I'm liking the background music too, if you want to hear, if, if you can hear that. And let's click start game. So apparently there's two schools in the game, and it's uh, it's a school themed MMO, and it's by uh, like I said, Min Communications. They're the same company behind who ran online. If you remember that game, I did a video for that a long time ago. But it's also one of the only other school themed MMORPGs out there. But it plays more like it's just another fancy MMORPG. But you do get a dorm in the game, and there's like teachers and stuff. But it's not really like anime inspired anime style school game because you outside town killing uh, cute monsters as per the usual so let's see i am in night shelter right now and uh, i just left off as level three and i'm starting right over here because in my, my last video i did all the tutorial stuff and it, it does take a while there's a lot of basic tutorial stuff on how to like move around how to equip items guys have fun and enjoy the game tells me to enjoy myself so you know what i'm going to enjoy myself there's a refueler over there if you want to refuel on your little mount over here if you click on this over here i got my hover scooter look at that hover scooter right there whoops i almost i got rid of it off my hockey bar but go me and I guess it runs out of gas, you can refuel it over there if you want to. Though I'm not convinced the scooter makes it go that much faster, because you do move fairly quickly anyway. So close that out over there, we're going to go follow these little arrows over here. And we're going to go zoom in on ourselves too, and if you want to see the game's graphics, they're really nice cell shaded graphics, and look how cute my mouth looks over there. But let's go forward over here. And one thing I liked right away is you can double jump, guys. Double jumping is key. And I am in Hillville. So look how cute these little trash cans look. They're playing rocks, paper, scissors with each other. How cool is that? But you know what? I'm going to kill these uh, trash sprites. Look at these poor guys. They got like bones on them. So I'm going to use my power shot. And then I'm going to use my bazooka over there. And it does really nice AoE damage. Pushes them really far away. So the cooldown is fairly low as well. Well, bam, you kill them really quickly and you do lots of AoE, which is always awesome. I'm always a big fan of area effect damage. So we're going to run down this way over here. There's Garbage Man Tony. Just garbage manning over there. What, what's he doing? Going up and down. Garbage shouldn't be able to walk. You know what? That's true. It shouldn't be able to walk. So now the arrows want me to go this way. What do I have to do? Kill, like, get trash zero out of six. So I guess I have to kill these uh, trash sprites over here to get their trash or something. I'm going to murder them. But they look so cute, too. But in any anime inspired MRPG, they, they tend to look cute. So let's kill these guys over here, too. And you do AoE damage, too. They die really quickly. So when durability of an item reaches maximum, you cannot use it until it's repaired. I thought when it goes to zero, you can't use it. So I'm not sure why they got that backwards. But they do. So I'm still going to be chillaxing over here, killing these dudes. I still have to get trash. I'm at zero out of six right now, so that's kind of weird. Maybe I kill the trash can instead of the trash sprites. And this a-hole, Canadian killer, whatever his name is, is taking my kills over here. So I can loot the MP gym, but no, I need to kill these angry cans over here. They got my loot. Come on, yes, I got the aggro off on them first, I think. So hopefully my quest will go, but we'll see in a second. Nope, I'm still 0 out of 6 for now. This other guy's camping them too. Your name is uh, FDFFSZKXZ. So I gotta kill 5 more of those dudes right now. But I'm liking the game's graphics. They're anime inspired too, but it's got a unique art style to it though. The, the art design in the game is definitely a bit different. So I'm gonna camp these dudes over here right now. Maybe there's more down over here. Nope, just more. There you go, there's my angry cans. I'll kill these. These ones over here are being heavily camped by that first grader over there. But the game does keep up with the whole uh, school theme because uh, later on you can get your own dorm room in the game school apparently. And there are teachers at the beginning that teach you how to do all the basic stuff. Engage in a duel with Canadian killer. Hell yeah, I'll do that. But after, I gotta kill these guys first. Uh, I'm gonna accept this in a second after I kill these dudes over here. These trash cans. So yeah, we're gonna duel for the, the right to camp these dudes right now. Yes, alright, here we go, Canadian. Oh! I just aggroed this thing over here by accident. I'm gonna click OK in a second. And when this thing dies, I'm gonna say second over there. I'm gonna 1v1 duel Canadian 01 killer. So yes, we're, I'm gonna loot this over here, loot that over there. You know what? I'm not even fully screwed. I'm good to go. Where are you, Canadian killer? I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. Three, two, there you are. Can, no, that's that's the wrong guy. I need to click on you. There we go. Yes, shoot you over there. Bam. 
And uh, hopefully I don't miss too much. He's like a mage or something. He, he doesn't even see me shooting at him. Man, this guy just got owned. 1v1 owned right there. The thing is, he didn't even see me attacking him because I didn't accept this duel invite right away. I'm going to say 1v1 owned. K fix, bro. And I'm going to walk away. Uh, even though it was really not a fair fight. One, I'm higher level. And two, he didn't even realize I was shooting at him because I accepted the duel invite like like 20 seconds after he, after he sent it out. I'm going to say, nah. I already owned you. I'm done. I'm done with you, bro. We're leaving you. So I'm gonna kill some more angry cans over here. Look at these guys. These poor guys are playing rocks, paper, scissors. And here I am with that bazooka just owning them. Just can just killing them in AoE fashion. They do die so fast too. Whoa, I'm getting shot. I thought he was shooting me, but he can't. He's like, he's like a warrior or something. He's like, dude, I didn't even see you, Canadian killer, whatever your name is. So I am up to two out of six, and I'm almost almost out of this place over here. He's trying to like cast my trash cans over here, but you know what? I'm not gonna get offended. I'm gonna go loot that HP gem and I am good to go. Recovery. So I, kill, I still need a lot of trash over here. They don't drop every single time. So I gotta kill a whole bunch of these. I'm not gonna accept your duel, man. I'm, I already beat you, man. It's over. I'm not dueling you again. No, go away. Cancel. I already owned you. <laughs> Even though it was, such, it was not a fair fight at all. But you can see the game's skills over here, too. This game actually has a lot of uh, crafting skills and a lot of uh, extra stuff. You got pharmaceutics. You got cooking. You got crafting. Just general crafting. You can make items. I have uh, sit down, which is an excellent skill over there. Blocking the road. Why is that a skill? Right, I, I want to use blocking the road. What does that do? I can just stand over there blocking the road. I, I guess, what does that do anyway? Block the road, interrupt enemies' movement. So I guess you can like stand in a row and block people if you want to. There's, uh, but they're double jumping as, as I mentioned earlier, but there's a decent amount of crafting stuff over here too. I want to stop blocking the road. Can we, can, can we, can we stop that for a second, guys? <laughs> Click K over here, I gotta, I gotta uncheck blocking the road. There we go. And I'm gonna put that over there and kill a few more of these angry trash cans over here. I gotta get a bit closer to use it. Uh, am I too far away from it? Uh, why can't I attack? I have no mana, that's why guys. I got no mana, but use my potion and I'm good to go. Now there's a lot of these guys clumped up together here. I would use my AoE, but the AoE only hits three guys at once, so it's not like I can kill all of them right away. But again, these three guys are going to die all at once because my AoE does own them really hard. But they don't drop the quest item every single time, which again, is a bit odd. There we go, you are dead. I'm going to bazooka that last guy, and five out of six, so maybe they do drop every single time. I'm not sure, but either way, I'm going to get one more of these guys, I can go hand in my quest. I'm not sure what the game's max level is, but uh, I got to level three fairly quickly. And kill this angry can over here too. I'm not sure why I took the game so long to, to go from closed beta to open beta, but the game is available now. And I played the game a bit in the closed beta, and since going open beta, the game's English translations got a lot better. The game actually does attempt to have a story, and the English translation has done really well too. It's much better localized in the in the open beta than it was in the closed beta. And the, the, the story goes something like there's these these monsters out here, you gotta basically kill them. They're called the Saklari, and apparently only children can kill them. Or, or, or only children can see them, at least see them better better. So I guess it's kind of anime-ish. But also there's two schools in the game which are training people, training knights to kill these dudes. And of course, when there's two schools, they always want to kill each other, you know. Instead of working together to kill the, the evil monsters, you know what? Just kill each other while you're at it. Why not? I got to talk to Garbage Man Tony. He's angry. Look at this guy. He's just sad over there. I can do uh, angry as well, which uh, let's let's do angry. Oh, angry there. My, I can't be angry at him. That's awful. Can we anger you? Yes, there you go. Arr! That looks kind of awkward anyway. Yes, I am angry. I talk to Garbage Man Tony. What does he got for me? And uh, there we go. Oh, thank you so much. That trash was getting out of hand. I don't know what happened. I do. I managed to collect quite a few marks from the trash. This is the work of something. So, dun dun dun. I like the game's uh, sound effects too in the background. My pleasure. Just give me a shout out if you need anything else. So I got some uh, nonsense over there. And I am now level... I'm still level 3. But you can see my gun circle stuff over here. I still have 2 points, but I only have 2 skills, which is kind of odd. I mean, I can get these 2 later on. Maybe I'll unlock more later, but right now I only have these 2 right now. You have, you have a lot of emot emotions as well if you want to do these. And there's... I like games when there's a lot of you these emotes over here. They're fun to play with. Look at that pro dance right there. Balancing on one hand. That is tough, guys. That is tough. I can do a handstand, but there's no way I can stand on one hand. That is that is tough stuff. But the, I also like these little arrows. They tell you exactly where to go. Uh, some other games do these as well. Some games just point to you on your little radar over here where to go. But I like to know where to go exactly for my quest. And I don't want to check my map over there. I want to follow these little glowing arrows on the floor. And I can always double jump on top of buildings if I ever get bored. And there is the pilot, apparently. My school's like over here somewhere, but I'm like kind of far away from it right now because I'm doing these quests. It's actually not even that far. If I go on my hoverboard, I can get there pretty quickly. And I can sit down over here, guys. Let me sit down on this thingamajig over here. There, there you go. Look at me. I'm on my thinking face over there. Look at him thunk. Thunking it up over there. Hmm. Anyway, I'm done thinking over there. Let's go talk to shopkeeper Elaine over there. Can we uh, get angry at her? Let's go get angry at her, guys. We get <laughs> Let's get angry at her from behind. There we go. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. There we go. And we can get a little bit closer. Get angry. And you know what? I can't really optimize this right now. I'll show you a more optimized version of me getting angry later. So there's Chief Slav over there, too. I'm going to go. Where am I going anyway? Follow the arrows. The arrows tell me to go that way. I'm going to go that way. There are two people fishing. And by people, I mean NPCs because they have no names. Look at you, man. You got no name. Sucks to be you. You got the emo face on, too, man. I would be emo, too, if I had no name. Look at this guy. 
He's that, he's that little cute little fishing rod too with the little octopus on it. And let's keep on moving. And you got like a swimming suit on, so let's leave you alone too. Because you probably also have no name. Yep, you got no name. Sucks for you. And we are in Hillville. I'm going to put on my, my thingamajig over here. My not that... Oh, I have a lot of items. Level 5 quest rewards. I can open these mystery boxes for gear. And all these other goodies. Complimentary scroll. Look at this, guys. It is in purple. It is epic. You can set up uh, the social point, which are changeable with good accessory, guys. I got some good accessories. So I guess it's a little scroll you trade in for an item later. So but let's put this hover thingamajig over here. And let's click on it. And now we are on our elite hoverboard. Open this one, too. Look at all this gear I got, guys. Good to go. Costume random box. Open that, too. I got a costume thing. Ooh, I got another hover scooter. I got two of these now. Can I put this one on instead? Uh, it's the same one. Never mind. It's moved around. So I gotta wait for the cooldown before I can do it again. Where am I going now? Anyway, keep following the arrows. And arrows always adjust, so let's keep running down this way. I got a school return card. I can use it to go back to my school, too, which I probably should have used. So now, where do these arrows want me to go? Where am I going? Follow the arrows. You know what? There you go. Arrows keep saying go this way. We're gonna go that way. Do I have to kill these guys, maybe? Get auction link something. I uh, get leaf. So I gotta kill these dudes, I think. So that's what my quest is trying to tell me to do. Kill these dudes. Let's go near these guys. And I'm gonna kill some meeps over here. No, I gotta kill sprats, not meeps. They do look pretty similar though. And they both kind of look like Pokemon. I gotta get off my hover scooter and I can start AOEing these guys. There, there you go. 290 damage. They take so much damage and they, they do die really quickly. My one attack is my basic attack. And if you click four, it picks up an item automatically. They die really quickly. These level one dudes over here. What well, bam, AoE farming for the win, guys. Best way to level up. You also have a tension level, which will vanish over time if not used. So it's kind of like rage. You can use it on certain abilities, though not every ability you can use it on. So let's use my MP for store potion and kill these meeps, even though I don't really need to. Because they're not even for my quest. But I am level 4 now, go me. My XP meter is at the bottom over there. Gotta kill more of these meeps over here, too. I can also use dual guns, I think. But at the beginning, I chose myself as a, as a launcher. But I guess you can play as both... Uh, I can use both kind of weapons, so even though there's only three classes, but I guess you can play them in two different ways. So we're gonna go keep killing these guys right now. Speed potion, guys. I want some speed. Let's go use that right now. And it made no difference on my movement speed. Maybe like, um, maybe attack speed it did. Let's go look at it. And increase movement speed by 10%. I guess it did make a difference on that, but 10%, it's not noticeable. Low quality strange crystals, guys. I can obviously use that to uh, to craft stuff. Which is what is it? It seems like I would use it for that. So I gotta get, uh, I gotta, I did a quest or something, but I gotta, I gotta kill a few more of these. Nope, I gotta go that way now. So let's go on my hoverboard again. And we are flying around. You can do PvP in the game as well. You saw me duel that random guy and owned him. Even though, again, he wasn't really ready for me. But you know what? I took him by surprise. My lead strat. And he went down. You can also do uh, school battles in the game later on, which uh, I'm not trying to do right now. And there's arenas in the game as well. We can do multiple players. But I'm gonna keep flying over here. And I can be happy as well, but I can't be happy on my scooter at the same time. So let's go zoom in on ourselves while we fly over there. Look at this cool dude over here with the blue hair. And we're going this way. Toward, all the way back to this guy for this one quest. I still have to do a get leaf quest over here too. Find guarding life le line leaf, whatever that is. And I am in night shelter again. And I'm only this I'm only this one area so far, Hillville. Not sure I'd be the game world. Let's can we zoom out. Nope. That is just transparency. We can uh, zoom in if we want to. Icon info. You can see where all the NPCs are, which is always useful too. And you can click on the map where you want to go. This one little feature I usually like to, like to say that every game should have because it makes traveling around so much easier. Because you know what? You don't want to manually move everywhere. You want to just click on the map and go there. So we are going this way. Oop, I gotta I gotta kill more trash cans or something. We're going. The arrows want me to go here, guys. The arrows want me to kill these trash sprites. So you know what? We're gonna do that. I'm gonna get off my hover bike and gonna AOE these dudes over here. Nope, nope. You're gonna try to take my kills. I got him. And there's a warrior over there, I guess. Kelly X, which is also a first grader. Why don't I have a title on right now? I want I want a title. Let's go see my title. We have our C page over here, and I am in school owl. And the other school I mentioned is Dragon. I have only one trait, so what is a trait over there? Let's go with my costumes. You have costume gear if you want to make yourself look different, but not affect your stats. I guess that's costume stuff. And there's my title. I'm a first grader as well, and it gives me 50 HP. You know what? I will be a first grader if I get 50 HP for it, so I'm going to equip that for now. You can get more titles, it looks like, and it does expire in, wow, in 2069. I'm going to have this for the next, like, 69. Why 2069? Why did they pick that date? But you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's go kill a few more of these guys right now. I'll have like 50 plus years. I gotta kill more trash sprites over here, and I get leaves out of them. So I gotta kill 12 more of these dudes. And luckily, they come in batches of three, so you can kill them all. I'm not even sure of all the class of AoE, but as a gunner, I have some really awesome AoE. Let's me grind very quickly, actually. And there's a ton of quests, too, so far. You never have to grind on your own early on. You just kill these guys over here. I don't want to kill this poor guy. I want to kill these guys. He's by himself. He's got no friends. Yo, Canadian Killer wants to do me again, man. This is Canadian Killer. He, You know what? I'm going to take him down after I kill these guys over here. What level is he now? He's still level 2. I'm level 4. I'm going to use a potion over there. I'm going to go... You know what? I'm going to go walk away real quick in this side. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna get him now. He doesn't even see me come. Oh, he just noticed me. He noticed I'm gonna fight him. Yeah, he's gonna go down, man. I got this guy. I got this guy. Shoot him with this. Bam. Shoot him with the rocket. Bam. Shoot him with that. 
And he can't even catch up to me, man. This guy's an... I just won again, man. PvP... I'm gonna say 1v1 owned. Kiki. La 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 skills. There you go. Let's go walk away from him now. He can even get near me. Man, so far, melee characters are pretty damn gimp because you do so much damage. I'm sure he hits pretty hard too for like 100 plus damage. But early on, I kill him like three shots. He wants to duel me again. He wants to, he wants to stay near me when we begin. You know what? I'm only going to accept this duel when I'm further away. So we're going to go a bit farther away and duel him again. I'm going to say AFK. Let me, uh, let me close this out for now. I'm going to say AFK until he walks away and then I'm going to accept this duel. And hopefully he walks away. Walk away from me, man. Walk away! I'm going to accept your duel when you walk away from me after I said AFK. He won't stand next to me this whole time if he knows I'm AFK. Or he might put... <laughs> I just want AFK. I'm, I'm still going to fake being AFK until he walks away. And when he walks away, I'm going to accept his duel and I'm going to kill him. Like a total jerk. Ah, he's still waiting by me. Uh, let's see. You know what? You know what, guys? I'm going to I'm gonna accept this duel and beat him again after we walk away. Is he going to follow me? He's still going to... Yes, I just... There we go. I'm going to kill this guy again. Yes. And this is our boundary over here as well. Run away. Yes. Oh, he's doing his abilities on me for a change. But uh, you know what? Look how weak he is already. Look how weak he is. And he is dead again. Lol. lol. <laughs> and you know what, guys? I'm going to go ahead and call it for now. My awesome PvP skills are our only Canadian guy over there. But if you guys do want to play Remnant Knights or just learn more about it, do check out the whole review on mlot.com. I'm link below. I do want to mention the combat does feel a bit different. Why am I shooting Canadian killer over there again? It's kind of weird. I want to kill these dudes. But I, the AoE skills are really powerful. I'm not sure why there's so few uh, skills over here on my character right now. But I can put points over here again. Uh, you might get more later on. And you get your room again at level 15. I'm sure there's more to look forward to later on as well. But again, guys, if you guys do want to play Remnant Knights or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on mlot.com. I'll link below. Anyway, guys, later.